What are all the most essential things that you need to know or ask about when you're buying a new home? This video covers eight tips that you can count on and apply in any market when it comes to new home construction. Number one, hire a buyer's agent that's knowledgeable about the new home sales process. Did you know that it doesn't cost you anything to hire a buyer's agent to represent you when you buy a new home? There's a myth that as a buyer, you may be getting a better deal if you're not working with a buyer's agent when you're buying a new home, but that is actually not true. The commission that the buyer's agent receives from this transaction is actually set aside by the builder. It is not factored into the purchase price of the home. So that means that you can actually have someone who's experienced and very knowledgeable about the new home sales process representing you that knows all the right questions to ask the builder in order to negotiate the best deal in terms on your behalf and the best part is that it doesn't cost you a thing so if it doesn't cost you any money why wouldn't you want a professional by your side to guide you through the entire process that could help save you thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars as you're buying a new home. In hiring a buyer's agent, there's so much to gain and so little to lose. Second, let's talk about builder incentives. Now, when you're looking to buy a new home, it's really important to be aware of all the incentives that the builders are offering. You can usually find this information on their websites or by visiting their sales office. It's a great idea to ask the builders about these incentives just to make sure that you're getting the best deal possible. One common incentive is to help cover part or even the entire closing costs, which can typically be around 3% of your home's purchase price. Also, with the recent increase in interest rates over the last six months or so, some builders are offering interest rate buy downs. This can be a major help with lowering those monthly mortgage payments. In some cases, I've even managed to negotiate these incentives to benefit my buyers significantly. For example, I recently helped a new home buyer receive thousands off of the list price and almost double what the initial closing cost contribution was from the builder. On top of that, they also landed a 4.99% interest rate which at the time was well below the national average of around 7%. This actually saved them a lot of money and made home ownership much more affordable. Now keep in mind that some builder incentives might actually have some conditions attached to them, like using the builder's in-house lender or one of their partnered lenders. So make sure that your realtor checks with the builder to understand any of those requirements for these incentives. In addition to covering closing costs, interest rates, builders often offer other perks like flooring upgrades or appliance packages and window coverings as part of their incentives. Flooring upgrades can allow you to replace you know, standard carpet or tiles with something that has a more premium feel. Appliance packages often include new stainless steel appliances like refrigerators, washer, and dryer. Some builders even offer window coverings, such as blinds and shutters for your new home. Now, towards the end of the year or the end of a fiscal quarter, many builders tend to be a little bit more generous when it comes to these incentives because they wanna sell off as many of their inventory homes as possible. Now, this can be a great opportunity to get more value for your money when you are buying a new home. So definitely be sure to explore these options and take full advantage of the incentives that are offered by the builders. It can make a big difference when it comes to achieving that dream of home ownership and doing it in a way that doesn't break the bank. And now that we've covered the builder incentives, let's talk about the next type of incentive and that is the lender incentives. Did you know that on top of the builder's incentives, you can also receive incentives from the lender when you're working with the builder's preferred lender. 
These incentives can certainly be a valuable addition to what the builder is already offering. So let me break it down for you. In the past, during the seller's market, it was common to see builders provide around 2% towards closing costs. And on top of that, the lenders would also chip in 1% to make the total 3% for closing costs contribution. However, the market has shifted significantly since that point. And now with the slowdown that we've seen in demand due to those higher interest rates, both builders and lenders are stepping up their game to sell off the inventory homes and also help make buying a new home more affordable despite the barriers that we've seen in the market. And you'd actually be surprised at what the lenders are now willing to offer in addition to the standard incentives in today's changing market. So a smart thing to do is to ask your realtor to explore what extra incentives the lender can provide on top of what the builder is providing. Sometimes we just don't have because we don't ask. And so it's always a good idea to ask because you never know what additional benefits the lender might bring to the table on top of what the builder is already offering. Again, you know, there have been times in the past where I've asked for more for my clients than what the builder and the lender were offering as part of their promotion in order to be able to make the deal work for my clients. And surprisingly, when asking, they said yes. And they gave extra incentives to my clients in order to make the deal work and get them into that home. And by the way, if we haven't had a chance to meet yet, again, I'm Josh Shorter, your Las Vegas real estate professional, and I'm here to help you find your dream home, whether it's in the United States or internationally. So be sure to like and subscribe and comment and stay tuned for all the latest updates. Up next, let's talk about cash incentives when you're considering purchasing a home. You might be wondering if there's any difference between buying the home with cash versus financing it. And the truth is cash is king and it comes with some significant advantages. First things first, it's a smart idea to inquire about any cash incentives that might be available. Buying a home with cash has its perks. For instance, you can often skip the appraisal process, which can then save you some time and save you some money. Plus, it can also speed up the closing timeline significantly. In some cases, if you're looking to close the deal in less than two weeks, it is totally possible if you're going the route of a cash purchase. So when you're thinking about making a cash purchase for your home, be sure to explore all the cash incentives that might be on the table because you definitely don't wanna leave anything on the table that could be yours. So if you have any questions about cash incentives or need further information, definitely feel free to reach out. The next thing I'm gonna we'll talk about is lot premiums. Now let's take a closer look at another important factor in the total cost of your new home, the lot premium. The overall price of your new home includes not only the base price, but also factors like lot premiums, structural upgrades, and design upgrades. Now, when it comes to lot premiums, this is another area where you will want your realtor to be an asset in negotiating the price. Lot premiums can vary significantly from one community to another. In my experience, here's what I've seen. I've come across communities with zero lot premiums, some 5,000, some 8,000, some 15,000, some 20,000. When it was a seller's market, we saw some even hit 45,000 that weren't for luxury homes at all. And now when you get into the luxury space, some lot premiums can start around 50,000 and sometimes even get up to a mind blowing 250,000. So it's just essential to remember that every item on your purchase agreement is negotiable. So your realtor should definitely inquire if there's room for negotiation on any of these items with the builders. The next important thing that I wanna talk about is design credits. Now let's dive into a very fascinating aspect of the home buying, and that is the design credits. Now, if you're not sure what these are, don't worry. I'm here to explain it in a way that makes sense. When you're purchasing a new home, there are typically several cost components involved. Again, you have the base price, any lot premiums, 
you know, structural upgrades. And then there's this important category. We have the design upgrades. And it's within this category of the design upgrades that you can actually explore the possibility of design credits. Now, here's the exciting part. Imagine the builder offering you a design credit ranging from $10,000 to $25,000. That's a very significant amount of money that can cover a variety of different upgrades depending on your preferences. It could go towards enhancing your flooring. Uh, it could go towards upgrading your cabinets, getting stylish hardware, or even transforming your staircase you know, with a more modern railing. These options are numerous when you have those design credits at your disposal, making your new home uniquely yours. So when you're considering your home purchase this year, don't forget to ask your agent about design credits. It can definitely be a game changer in really creating that home that you've been dreaming of. By the way, if you're looking to buy a home in the next year, I'd love to know which state you're planning to buy your home in. Feel free to comment below and let's keep this conversation going. Up next, we're gonna talk about spec homes. Now, another word for spec homes is speculation homes. These are homes that the builder constructs with the speculation that they are going to sell quickly. And what is great about a spec home, in my opinion, is that builders incorporate many of the most popular upgrades and designs for the specific community that they're in. And these upgrades could range from you know, next-gen suites to uh, additional bedrooms. Builders know exactly which floor plans and upgrades are in high demand in each community. The beauty of these spec homes is that they're ready to move into right away. You don't have to wait through the building process. Uh, think of them as homes that are very similar to model homes, but there are just a few differences. Now, model homes usually showcase uh, a community and typically feature maybe 30% or more uh, of the upgrades that that community has to offer, including structural, design, and even some electrical elements. Now in comparison, spec homes tend to only show maybe about 15 to 20%. Another significant difference is that the spec homes are moving ready. You can actually buy one and get the keys immediately. And with model homes, since they're used for the purpose of community presentation, they're not available for purchase until the very end of that community's closeout when all the lots have been sold. Now, personally, I find spec homes to offer the best of both worlds. They're similar to the model homes with all of the most popular and sought after upgrades. And you won't really need to think about the extensive upgrades or do a lot of research because basically the spec home has already been thoughtfully designed by the builder's interior design team. And what's great about the spec homes is that there's often room for negotiation. And let's talk about the last tip. And that is just to maintain a strong line of communication with your realtor throughout the process. This definitely helps to ensure that you're on the same page every step of the way, but it also allows you to maximize how your realtor can help you. Never feel like you're asking a dumb question because you know, your question could actually lead to more opportunities, could lead to more incentives, could lead to you gaining more knowledge and understanding, more peace sometimes, and other good things, you know, happening along the way to purchasing that new home. And when you're working with a great realtor, they're not going to mind you asking those questions. I know that I certainly don't. And that's what we're here for. So please take full advantage of it. I hope that this information uh, helps you make a, a very informed decision when you're considering new construction homes. And if you like more tips on buying new construction, definitely feel free to check out my playlist. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it's been educational and useful. And uh, especially if you're relocating to a new state. Again, thank you for your time. Have a blessed and wonderful day. And I look forward to next time.